So I've just been drawing for my whole life because it's just something I always like to do. But um, when it was my senior year, mm -hmm. I didn't go to school most of my senior year because I was really sick. So um, I started drawing a lot more and kind of taking it seriously to just, you know, give me something to do. Mm -hmm. And I realized how good I was. So I was like, I don't have anything else else to really go off of. So I could just start doing this and it's been going really well. I'm trying to film you. Well, I, my junior and senior year, I couldn't go to school because I was always sick. So, um, like, you know, in high school, you're friends with people because you see them every day. Yeah. But when you don't, you just fall off. So, like, uh, I, would, I wouldn't talk to anyone because, you know, I didn't see them regularly. Mm -hmm. So, I just had to figure out how to occupy myself and not get lonely. <laughs> so, I started drawing and then I just did it all day, every day. Um, so I stay up until like 4 o'clock drawing, then I go to sleep and have to wake up for 8 o'clock classes every day, which is a drawing or um, sculpture class. And then I have like an hour to get myself together and look good. Then I go to another class and another class and then I come back and draw and sleep. That's literally all I do. So, a lady that went to my church was making an independent film and she was having a premiere for it. And um, she's like, hey, do you want to do a live drawing? And I was like, uh, no, not really. I've never done that before. But um, she was going to pay me, so I was like, I mean, I guess I could try it. So I just, uh, I had no plans for it, no anything. I just went in there. She told me what picture she wanted me to draw, so I did that. And it just turned out really well. Like, it was really last minute and unexpected, but it was really good, so I just kept doing it for different people and caught on. Mm -hmm. I, I want to figure out how to paint a wall. How to paint a wall? Like, who to give me permission, you know? Okay. I made so many connections, mm -hmm. just at UNT alone because um, we have an organization called UNT Live. It's just basically a networking for artists. Mm -hmm. And um, not many people just make fine art. So if you draw or paint or something, a lot of people are interested in that and they want to incorporate that into their form of art. Like I have a lot of friends who make music. So I have a lot of music connections, a lot of film and photography mm -hmm. connections. Just everyone's interested in it so I started using Instagram first but um, I figured out that Twitter's Twitter works better because people can retweet it and it can just spread really quickly so um, like I have people in Europe that want to give me art shows because it just you know people retweet it and they see it so it can it can help social media can can really get you out there really quickly if you make the right moves and show it to the right people I actually um, sculpted that one Tuesday. I'm really interested in anatomy and bodies, so I did kind of an abstract form of that. The leg was the first sculpture I've ever made, and I was pretty nervous because I didn't know what, was, what would come out of it. So I picked something pretty simple like a leg, but as I was sculpting it, um, I figured out that there's a lot more to legs than what it seems like and you really have to understand all the different parts of whatever it is that you're sculpting to make it look realistic and so I just I kind of grew a lot as an artist from that and um, it definitely made me not scared to try new things so I really like it for that okay so the pieces I'm most proud of um, this is I think my favorite one I really don't know why but it just is. And I've been doing I've been doing a lot of live drawings and this was the most successful live drawing that I did. I did it in like two two to three hours. So yeah, that was that was cool. I started taking painting classes because I'm a drawing and painting major. And I was really scared. This is the first painting I've ever done. And I did it. It was due at 8 o'clock in the morning and I started it at midnight so I just did it for six hours straight and it turned out really well so it'll always be one of my favorites. And then I started painting more and this is my other favorite painting. 
So yeah, those are some of my favorite pieces that I've done. So this one, I meditate a lot and it like has to do with the chakras and aligning them. So that was my inspiration for that one. The crystal, I just, I, was it upside down? No. I really like crystals, so I don't know. Just a crystal in itself was the inspiration for that. And then the other two, they're just, um, kind of random people. Eventually, I want to be able to live off of my art and only my art. Hopefully really soon, not eventually, but yeah. Um, and I just really want, I actually want to be in an art history book. That's my goal. I mean, I won't know until after I die. Well, I'll never know, but that's my goal. Um, because I just, I don't know, I, I feel like that's the highest level of acknowledgement you can get. So that's, that's what I'm working towards.